Hey there, let's take a look at my process for how I do my more abstract digital paintings and portraiture. To get started, I'm using the largest size canvas my iPad can produce at 300 DPI in CMYK colors. So it'll be ready to print. Uh, and in my case, that is a, either a 25 by 25 inch or a 24 by 18 inch canvas. These sizes also correspond to the printable canvas sizes on Printify so that I can send it directly to my printer. It can go up on my Etsy shop and be ready to go. The first thing I do is pick a color palette. I use an app called Coolers that generates color palettes and then I screenshot them and import them as an image layer into Procreate so that I can create a custom color palette in my swatch library. I put each base color along the middle line slots and then I pick a lighter and a darker variation to go above and below it. I typically also grab some grayscale swatches in case I want to work out the values in black and white and gray uh, and then I will add color as an overlay. Once I have the swatches ready to go, I enlarge the screenshot and rotate it so it takes up the whole canvas and then I use it as the base for my background. I'm working off this image I found on Unsplash. Unsplash is a royalty-free photo library and this photo is taken by Taylor Hernandez, so thank you to them. I start by roughing out the shapes of his head and body and adding some detail in the face to get a general idea of where everything is. My idea for this painting is to have the smoke from the cigarette turn into his hair. It's at this point that I realize I'm drawing the roughs onto the background layer, which I don't want to do, so I undo everything I've done up to this point and start again on a separate layer. Once I have the rough outline sorted, I go over top filling in all the areas where the light hits the figure. It really helps to understand the planes of the face and body to be able to do this quickly. Once the basic lighting is done, I go over top again, filling in highlights, and then I go on a separate layer underneath and fill in the shadow areas.
Now that I have most of the values laid in, I'm going to go in with a specialty brush to do the smoke that blends into the hair. Procreate has a fantastic smoke brush. Time to do the eyes. I start by blocking out the eyeballs and then drawing in the iris as a solid color. After putting in the pupil, I paint some glistening highlights. Now that the figure is done, I'm going to smudge the background color with the smoke brush. The painting is done, so now it's time to sign. I like to do my signature in white and then set the signature layer to an overlay so that it interacts with whatever is behind it. And that's how I do my abstract portrait paintings in Procreate. Let me know in the comments if you found this helpful or what you'd like to see next. Thanks! I'm Jeff Baker Draws. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that follow button, and follow me at Jeff Baker Draws on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Threads for art tutorials, animations, process videos, and autism advocacy. See you next time.